Hi, I'm Rachel K. Collier, and you're watching RKC Weekly. Welcome back everybody. Today I'm live at Boomtown Festival, which is a UK festival in Winchester. I played a show last night and I thought it would be cool to show you how a UK festival is done, but also in true RKC nerd style, talk you through my live festival setup. So number one, check out the view. But the actual number one, the ultimate piece of gear, the first thing I need to perform live, the greatest programme ever created in the history of mankind, Ableton Live. I'm using 10.1 on stage, guys. I'm performing with Session View. I run all my synths through it, vocal effects, vocal loops, control all the effects. We all love Ableton. So a quick little stop on the way into the festival, Paradise Heights uh, campsite. Not sure I'm feeling the gradient here. Number two, King Cold. So this is actually my oldest synth, guys. I bought it in 2014 when I was initially looking for a whirly sound synth. And uh, yeah, had a nice surprise when I got it home and played with all the presets. What I love most is you can mod all the presets and save them. You've got your own patches. I use the King Korg on stage to play big solos and also to loop up certain chord sections in the songs. Love my King Korg. about to kick off in there the Arturia Mini Brute. Love this synth, no presets, but it's very easy to change quickly on stage. Usually just mess around with the filters and play around with the square and triangle wave. Use it for all my bass throughout the set and yeah, just obsessed with it. ultimate MIDI controller for me in my live show. I never have to look at my laptop because I'm using push solely to control everything. I'm doing live looping, triggering drums, triggering random sounds that I can't create live and I'm also recording audio and chopping it up live too. Love push, changes all my tempos, love all the colours, couldn't perform without it. The voices in my head, oh, they'll get me in the end. Now, wouldn't you like to add me as your friend? I've done a few little videos of my Reface DX. I'm a big fan. I love this little thing. I use it to play the chords in some of my songs because I position it right in front of me on stage. But I also do a lovely little solo in Time After Time on the Dyna lead sound, which I think comes from bank number one. So I'm just hanging out by the uh, Plastic Planet section over here. And I thought this would be a nice time to let you know number six, MIDI Fighter Twister. 
So I love this MIDI controller, guys. It's got 16 knobs assignable to absolutely anything in Ableton and also four banks, so you can go super crazy with your CC numbers. I use the MIDI fighter twister to do my auto filters and delays and reverbs, but also my monitoring that I've set up in Ableton Live. So I can alter the level of vocal in my in-ears, level of bass, level of synth, anything else I want to do. I've also mapped the BPM, so if I want to go crazy, I can speed things up and go mental. Love the MIDI Fighter Twister by DJ Tech Tools. Number eight the Chaos Pad. So those of you who've been following me for a while may have already know or already seen that I am obsessed with the Korg Chaos Pad. I'm using the KP3 Plus. I'm using it as a hardware send, mainly for vocal effects. I send the vocals from Ableton into the sound card, out of the sound card into the Chaos Pad, and then back into the sound card and out through channel three. my trusty Akai LPD-8. So this is maybe my most tiny and most portable MIDI controller. I use it for all my vocal sends. I've got four with different reverbs and different styles of ping pong delay. And I also have mapped some auto filters on certain tracks that I want to bring the filters up and down on throughout my set. I love this little thing. It's not actually mine. I did borrow it from a friend a few years ago and never gave it back. But yeah, you guys should all have one. least I definitely couldn't do my show without my RME Fireface UC and my Shaw PSM 300 in-ear monitoring unit. guys that is the rundown of my current live setup for festivals it's taken quite a lot of trial and error and trying to figure out which synths are best for me to play on stage if you really want to get into the nitty gritty I've just uploaded a video over my patreon which explains things like the cases the stands the cables and also shows me setting up every single piece of gear and this is going to come out of the mic split and it's going to go direct into channel one of my sound card. Hope you've enjoyed the tour of Boomtown and I'll see you next week on RKC Weekly.